go. Where are you walking to? Are starting our morning off in the playroom again she is playing with her walker right now so good morning everybody last night again was awful say it was awful again so she is getting those two like fang teeth or whatever and um, she just is having a really really hard time they are two ginormous lumps on the top part of her mouth, of her gums, and she's not liking it. So right now she seems to be okay. She seems to do okay with that in the morning, but she's grumpy because she's tired in the morning. So she's just grumpy all day long because she's grumpy because she's tired, and then she takes her nap, and then she's grumpy because her teeth hurt. So right now she is actually chewing on something. Yeah, dog. So anyway, we are planning on possibly going to visit one of Danny's co-workers that he used to work with at Walmart. We're either doing that today or tomorrow, and I would like to try to take her swimming. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm hoping I can take her swimming, get her out there, splash around and stuff. She is still screaming in the bathtub, so I don't know if she's having a fear of water all of a sudden, or if she'll be okay in the bathtub, but I would like to test it out. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, we're gonna keep playing. is it I just like I didn't even vlog anything I just did so um I did a lot of stuff we actually um, took Madeline swimming and I didn't have my action camera with me can you see my hair look at this this is because I got it wet and there's like chlorine in my hair look at that I mean that is like I look like I got electrocuted okay so I've been telling you guys that I am making Madeline's outfit and I did her little bow and just now I made an applique for her, for her onesie, and I have never, ever done this before. I have my embroidery machine over here, over here, 
Um, it's on my oven because that's the only place I could find for it right now because my house is a disaster. Um, so anyway, I did it on my oven and I've never done applique before. I purchased a template off of Etsy that basically I imported into my embroidery machine and then the embroidery machine just kind of follows the steps and does it that way and I was terrified. It was like, it took almost two hours for me to get through this and the whole time I'm like, this is not gonna work, this is not gonna work, this is not gonna work, but it worked. It took three tries, that's two, three. On the third try it worked. Um, the first try, I tried to add like an adhesive backing to it and the sewing machine couldn't get through the adhesive backing very well so it couldn't pick any thread up from the bobbin. The second time, I don't remember what happened the second time, something didn't work the second time. And then the third time it worked and it was great so let me go show it to you. So here it is, this is the bow that I made for her that I've been telling you guys about. That's her bow. And this is the applique I just made, so I was so terrified that this was not going to work at all, but look at it. It actually turned out really well. Um, it's my first time, so it's not perfect, but it's super cute, I think. Um, the cherry's supposed to be red, and then like this sprinkle and this sprinkle were supposed to be red, but I just made the cherry gold because I don't have any red in my theme. So I might just go over these ones, um, like hand sew over top of those ones to make them gold again but the outline of the one and these two were in the same same pattern so I couldn't change those to gold without changing the outline of this to gold, which probably would have been cute too. But anyway, I'll give you a little bit of a close up so you can see everything. So there it is. And here's the bow. So that's what I did. <laughs> 